in the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful. The one who denies one Imam is like the one who denies all Imams. Kulani and others have, with reliable chains of narrators, narrated from Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, that one who denied one Imam, has denied all Imams. Ebni Babawe, Noimani, and others have, with reliable chains of narrators, narrated from Aban Ebni Takleb that, I asked Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, is he a believer, who knows all the past Imams, but denies or does not recognize the Imam of his own time? He replied, No. I asked, Is he a Muslim? He said, Yes. Ebni Babawe says that Islam means confession of three facts, whereby his life and property become secure, and the reward of the hereafter depends on faith. The Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Vat Allahi Vasalam, has said, The one who testified to the oneness of Allah and my prophethood has secured his life and property, from being executed or confiscation of property, and his accountability is with Allah, on the day of judgment. He has also narrated from Imam Sa'adik, Alehi Salam, that, you should know that, if someone denies the messengership of Isa or Christ, Alehi Salam, and believes in the prophethood of all other messengers, is not a believer. Seek the path of Allah, by search and want of that Imam who is the sign of truth, and when your Imam is hidden, search for the signs, writings and words of the Imams, which are before you, and perfect your religious affairs. Then you will have believed in your Lord. Ebni Babawe, has narrated with authentic chains of narrators from Imam Riza, alayhi salam, that the Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Vat Allahi Vasalam, said, O Ali, you and the twelve infallible Imams from among your sons are, after me, the Hojaj, proofs, of Allah over the creation, and they are the signs of the path of Allah for the people. The one who denied any one of them, denied me, and who disobeyed any one of them, disobeyed me, and the one who oppressed any of them, has oppressed me and the one who behaved nicely and righteously with them, has behaved, loved fully and affectionately with me. Whoever obeyed you has obeyed me, who befriended you, has befriended me, and who became your enemy, has become my enemy, because you are born of me in my loins, and I am from you. Noimani has narrated from Muhammad ibn Taymam, that I said to Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, that, such and such person is your slave and a Shia, and sends salutation or salam to your honor and says, You please be my surety in the resurrection, and assure that you will intercede in my favor. The Hezrat asked, Is he from our Shias and friends? I said, Yes. Then the Hezrat said, He does not need to make a request for intercession. Then I said, There is a man who befriends Malana Amirul Mamanin al Imam Ali, alayhi salam, but does not recognize the legatees. Vasis, thereafter. The Hezrat said, He is misguided. Then I said, He believes in all the Imams, but he denies the Imam of the last age, Akira's Zaman. The Hezrat said, He is like the man who testifies the messengership of Isat, alayhi salam, but denies the prophethood of Muhammad, Sal Lal Aho alayhi va alayhi va salam, or believes in Muhammad, but denies Isat, alayhi salam. I seek refuge of Allah against the one who denies any of the proofs, hojaj, of Allah. It is an essential part of faith to believe, in the prophethood of all the prophets mentioned in the Holy Quran, and in those whose messengership is mentioned continuously in the traditions of the Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Va Allahi Va Salam. One who denies even one of them, is a disbeliever. So, an overall faith in all the prophets and legatees is essential. It is not compulsory to have specific knowledge. He may believe that all the prophets and their legatees are true. Kulani and Noimani have narrated with reliable chains of narrators from Muhammad ibn Muslim that, he said to Imam Sadiq, alayhi salam, that A Yemeni says that if you know the last Imam of the time, that is, your time, it is enough, and that there is no harm, if you do not recognize the prior or earlier Imams. The Hazrat said, 
curse of Allah be on him. I look at him, as an enemy even though I do not either knows him or do not recognize him. He cannot know the last Imam, but through the earlier Imam. Kulaini has narrated with authentic chains of narrators from Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, that, the Hazrat said. A servant cannot be a believer, unless he knows Allah, and the Messenger, and all the Imams, and the Imam of his time, and turns towards him for clarification of doubtful matters and obeys him. Then, he added, how can he know the last Imam when he does not know the first Imam and is not aware of his Imama? Moreover, Kulaini has narrated from Zorara, Ramatola Ale, with correct chains of narrators that, he says. I asked Imam Bagir, Alehi Salam will you kindly let me know, whether it is compulsory for the entire creation to know the Imam. The Hazrat replied, the Lord of the Worlds has appointed Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi wa salam, with his messengership over the entire creation, and he was the Hojja of Allah for the entire creation on earth. So, who believes in Allah and his Prophet, obeys him and has testified about him. The direct result of this, is to know the Imam. And a man who did not put faith in Allah, and does not follow and testify him, and does not recognize his right, how can such a person be made incumbent to know the hidden Imam, when he neither believed in Allah and his Prophet nor recognized their rights? Zorara said, Then what do you say about a man who put faith in Allah and his Messenger and testified to all the things revealed to his Messenger? Is it incumbent on such person to know you? The Hezrat said, Yes. Do not the Bakris and Umaris, consider it necessary and compulsory to recognize Abu Bakr and Umar? despite their wickedness? Zorara said, Yes, they do. Then, the Hazrat said, Do you imagine that Allah has put the recognition of the two in their hearts? No, by Allah, none but the devil has put it, in their hearts and, by Allah, none but Allah, has put our recognition, in the hearts of the believers. Seghatal Islam Kulani, Ramatola Alay has narrated with reliable chains of narrators from Jabir, who says that he heard Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, saying, No one either knows or worships Allah but the one who knows Allah, and knows the Imam of his time from us, Ahlalbayt, alayhima salam. And the person who does not recognize Allah, an Imam of his time from us, Ahlalbayt, alayhima salam, of course knows or believes in others than Allah, and worships other than Allah, and by Allah, he goes astray due to ignorance and misguidance. Also, he has narrated with reliable chains of narrators from Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, that the Hazrat said, You people cannot be righteous and good until you know the Imam, and you cannot get the required knowledge, unless you do not testify, and you did not testify until you obey and follow the four things mentioned in the verse. The four things which are true are repentance, faith, good deeds and the guidance gained through the guardianship, vilaya, and obedience of the imams. Then he added, their beginning is not improved but through the end of imama, and they cannot benefit but through vilaya and those who do not believe in the said three things are wayward. Verily Allah does not accept but good deeds, but then, he does not accept the good deeds, but with the completion and fulfillment of the conditions mentioned in the verse. Therefore the one who fulfills the conditions put by Allah, and acts upon the things about which Allah has taken an undertaking from them in the Holy Quran, then only he gets the rewards which have been promised to him by the Lord of the world. Verily Allah has made his servants aware of the true path, and he has also put signs on that path, and has informed them how to proceed on this path saying, Allah only accepts from those who guard, against evil. 5. 27. So, the one who fears Allah regarding the matters commanded by Allah meets Allah with faith, in the things brought by Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam. Alas, alas, how distant this group is from grace. Many groups passed away before gaining guidance through the obedience and vilaya of the true imams and their people were imaging that they had believed in Allah though they had, due to their ignorance, indulged in polytheism by associating others with Allah. The one who enters the house from its door is rightly guided, and the one who enters from any other door treads the path of destruction, 
and the gate of the knowledge of the messenger are the true imams. As the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, has said, I am the city of knowledge and wisdom and Ali is its gate. And Allah has said, And it is not righteousness that you should enter the houses at their backs, but righteousness is this that, one should guard against evil, and go into the houses by their doors, and be careful of your duty to Allah, that you may be successful. 2. 189. Allah has connected the obedience of the Ola Lamru, one vested with authority, that is, of the true Imams, with the obedience of the Prophet and joined the obedience of the Prophet with his own obedience, saying, O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Apostle and those in authority from among you, then if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the Apostle, if you believe in Allah and the last day, this is better and very good in the end. 4. 59 So, the one who discards the obedience of the true Valis, has obeyed neither Allah nor the Messenger. And their obedience is the confession of what Allah has said. Decorate yourself near every mosque. 7. 31 It is understood from traditions that, the mosque means prayer and decoration means both bodily as well as spiritual beauty, and among the spiritual beauties, the best is the beliefs of faith without which worships are not accepted, and among them the best is vilaya and obedience of the true imams. Then added, seek those houses about which, Allah has said, in Surah Nur, which is revealed in praise of the Ahlal Bayt, Alaihimas Salam. In houses which Allah has permitted to be exalted, and that his name may be remembered in them, there glorify him therein in the mornings and the evenings. 24, 36 which, according to the explanation by traditions, means that this radiance, nor, is found in those houses in which Allah has allowed it, and decided that they should always remain high in fame and rank, and that the remembrance of Allah must continue therein. Thereafter the Hazrat said, You have been certainly informed as to which are those houses and who are their residents. It is mentioned. Men whom neither merchandise nor selling diverts from the remembrance of Allah, and the keeping up of prayer and the giving of poor rate, they fear a day in which the hearts and eyes shall turn about. 24, 37 Then the Hazrat said, Surely, Allah has chosen the messengers and prophets for his affairs, viz for the guidance of the creation and for the explanation of the conditions of shariat or religion. Then he selected a group from them who may testify to the warning given by the messenger as Allah has expressed through the tongue of his messenger. There is no community in which Allah did not send a warner of chastisement. The one who is unwise is restlessly wandering and the one who is wise is guided, and that, here sight means the heart as says the Lord of the universe. Eyes are not blind, but blind hearts within their chests. 22, 46 How can the one get guidance whose heart is blind, and how can one be seeing who does not ponder over verses and traditions? Follow the Holy Prophet. Sal lal aho alayhi va alayhi va salam, and his ahlal bayt, alayhimas salam, and confess what has been revealed by Allah and follow the signs of guidance which are the true imams. Doubtlessly they are the signs of trust, religiousness, and righteousness. It has been reliably narrated from Imam Sadiq, alayhi salam, that Abdallah ibn al Kawa, who was a Ka'ariji, went to Malana Amir al Mamanin al Imam Ali alayhi salam, and requested for the explanation of the verse. And on the most elevated places, there shall be men who know all by their marks, and they shall call out to the dwellers of the garden, Peace be on you, they shall not have yet entered it, though they hope. 7, 46 The Hazrat said, It is we, who will be in the elevated places, Araf, and who will recognize our friends from the signs on their foreheads. We are the Araf whom the world lovers cannot know, except through our recognition. We are the Araf through whom Allah will send our friends and foes to, the Serrate Bridge. So, no one will enter paradise, but the one who will recognize us, and whom we know and none will go to hell, but the one whom neither we know nor who knows us. Had Allah so willed, he would have himself made his slaves recognize him, but it is his strategy that, he made us the door for his recognition and it the straight road and the path of salvation. 
we are the cause of Allah whereby one can reach Allah. So, the one who denies our vilaya or gives preference to others over us, has strayed from the right path. Those whom people have begun to follow, are not equal to us, because those non-Shias have joined muddy ponds who commit envy upon envy, and those who have come towards us, have come to such a clear springs, which are always running by the order of Allah, the Lord of the universe. These springs never dry up nor ever interrupted. The Hezrat has likened knowledge with water, because just as water keeps the body alive, knowledge is the cause of the life of spirit or soul. Similarly he has likened the knowledge of the opponents, because of its being defective and doubtful, with water which is less and jammed in a pit full of mud and other impurities. This is because they have obtained knowledge from one another among themselves which does not reach the source of Allah, the Messenger, and the true Imams who alone have the true knowledge. The Hezrat has, in his comparison said that they are like the springs which fall into one another and has likened the knowledge of the Ahlalbayt, Alaihimas Salam, with pure water springs which flow from the omniscient Allah, because their knowledge is definite and which flows from the source of revelation and divine inspiration, and there is no scope for any doubt or confusion, and also because such knowledge is brought by the Holy Spirit, Jabra'el, and showered on their holy souls. Endlessly. It is also narrated with reliable chains from Abu Hamza Soma'li that Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, told him. Whenever any one of you goes on a journey of even a few miles, he is accompanied by a guide, so that he may not go astray. You are less aware of the heavenly paths in comparison with the earthly roadways. So search for a guide from you for your guidance. What is meant by the heavenly paths, is that they are some beliefs and deeds whereby man attains higher ranks near Allah and in heavens or paradise. Moreover, it is narrated with reliable sources that Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, was asked to explain the meaning of the holy verse. Who is given wisdom has been granted a great good. 2. 269. The Hazrat replied that what is meant by wisdom, is the obedience of Allah and the recognition of the Imam. By hikmat is meant, the true knowledge which is related with deeds or actions. Therefore, it is said that a Hakim or wise person, is always true and of good character. Hence the Hezrat has used the words recognition of Imam for explaining the meaning of hikmat or wisdom, which is the fountainhead of every grace and the true and definite knowledge is available only from the Imam, and only it enables obedience of Allah, because the aim of obedience is to act according to that knowledge. From this, it is understood that hikmat does not mean those false sciences, which have been derived by wayward people from their imperfect minds naming it as hikmat, irfan, sufis, or philosophy. It is on the basis of this false wisdom through which the shari'iyah or codes of many messengers and many divine books have been altered, thus depriving people of the divine knowledge and the traditions of the messenger and the words of imams. Sorry. Such people have, without understanding religion and essential problems declared themselves as scholars and wise men. Moreover, it is reported with authentic chains of narrators that someone had asked Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, to explain the meaning of the verse. Is the dead man whom, we make alive creating a nor or light for him, wherein he walks among people, is like the one who is in the darkness of unbelief and ignorance, wherefrom he never comes out? 6. 122. The Hazrat replied, here dead means, the one who knows nothing and who does not obtain the knowledge of true beliefs. The nor or light in which, he walks among people, is the Imam whom people follow. The man who is in darkness, is the one who does not recognize his Imam. It is authentically narrated from Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, that, Abu Abdullah Jadali, went to Amir al Mamanin, alayhi salam. The Hazrat told him, O Abu Abdullah, do you want me to explain to you the purport of the verse? Whoever brings good, he shall have better than it, and they shall be secure from terror on the day. And whoever brings evil, these shall be thrown down on their faces into the fire, shall you be rewarded for aught except what you did. 27, 89-90 That is to say, the one who brings good in the presence of Allah, 
has a reward better than it, because he gets the higher in place of lower, and the everlasting in place of the passing, rather Allah grants him up to ten or even up to seven hundred times more reward, and such people will have no feeling of fear and horror on the day of judgment. And the one who brings forth evil and sins, that is to say polytheism, should know that such people will be thrown head down in hell. Will you not be given the reward of only those deeds, which you were doing? Abu Abdullah replied, Yes, O Amir ul Mamanin, may my parents be sacrificed for you. The Hezrat said, Here good means our Imama and Vilaya and also your love for us, Ahlal Bayt, Allahimas Salam. And here evil means denial of our Imama and Vilaya and enmity against us Ahlal Bayt, Allahimas Salam which drives them with disgrace from this world to hereafter, to be thrown in hell.